And now we'd like to wel welcome Tim Crawley from the Washington Museum and Science Center. What do you have for hey us guys. tonight? Good Hi, to see Tim. you. Good to see you. Well, because of the museum, we have the genome exhibit. I thought we would do something on DNA. Great. And the other cool thing is, it's an experiment that kids can do at home really pretty easy. We're going to extract DNA from both a banana and from some strawberries. All Experiments. Right. Sam, you're right, Experiments. In the, you're, right, you're right in the, uh, okay. the driver's seat. All so right. you're going to help it out. What we're going to do is, first thing is we'll start by breaking down, if we can open up this bag. Okay. Hold that there. All right. We'll give you your banana part. Give me some <laughs> banana. Yep, cool banana. Now we'll right. break it up. That's probably good. And turn around, I'm going to get some strawberries. What you want to do is close that up, burp a little bit of the air out of it maybe, right. and just to make it a little easier, and then start mashing that up. And I'm going to talk up. about nice. how the kids can do it easy at home. Well, I've let's got talk the, about what, what, did you, what do you have in here, Tim? Oh, we've <laughs> got, it's actually a lysis buffer. It's mm -hmm. salt water and basically dishwashing liquid. Which will break down the cell membranes. So the dishwashing the liquid membrane. breaks yep. down the lipids on the outside of the cell membranes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this, break this down first so that it's a little more squishy before I put in the liquid. Now, when you want to make it at home, it's pretty easy. You take about a third of a cup of water, give or take, about a teaspoon of salt, mix it in with the water, and then add a few, two, three drops of liquid soap. You okay. can use hand soap, dishwashing soap. Mm -hmm. I'm using hand soap right now. And it's pretty good because it's a little bit clear, and we'll be able to see how this works out. So right now, let me put, they say three tablespoons, so it'll be nine of these teaspoons with uh, three teaspoons per tablespoon. <laughs> I'm guessing. Just, uh, <laughs> you know, and, and in science, of course, you've always got the, uh, that's about right. Yeah. That's about right. So I'm going to pour this in there, right? You're going to take that, and once you got it, you got it pretty well mashed up. You're way ahead yeah. of me. Once you get it pretty much so mashed up, you want to take the, uh, if I can steal that from you. Okay. Sorry, though. Yep. And pour it through there, because what you want to do strain is strain it. Strain it. Right. Now, you can use a coffee filter. You can do it with, with a paper towel. It works, but the coffee filter works a Probably lot works easier. works a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So we'll turn around. Now, you, what you want to do is wait for it. You can wait for it to drip down or scoop it all up, and make a little tea these, bag type shape to one it. One of these things, huh? And hold it. Now, when you squeeze it, especially with the coffee filter, you want to squeeze it gently as you work your way down. Because you don't want to make a mess. Because it'll, yeah. it'll break on you. Yeah, you don't want the Let me see. Mine there. may not do it, but we'll find out. I got a backup just in case. All right. Because the strawberry takes a little bit more mashing, but I'm going to go ahead. And now while we're straining this all out. Uh, well, spilled some in there. Is that going to be right. okay? You okay. know what? Just we'll take do it again. Yep. Do it again. That's I'm going to take this, put that in there. with the pay raises, you bet. <laughs> this time, it should go through a lot easier. A lot easier and a lot less to catch. Yeah, this and that's time. all right, because it happens like that yeah. all the time. <laughs> and next thing, once... You got yours. I'm going to take mine, and you take a little rubbing alcohol. Now, a lot of times it asks for it to be chilled, okay. mm -hmm. and so mine I put in the, in the freezer for a, an hour or so, and I'm going to put it in here. I'm just going to let mine set, okay, and because it'll separate as we go along. Okay, and I'm going to pour just about the same amount as you have mm -hmm. liquid in there. Now, when you what you want to do. Sam, as you want to stir it, but really, really gently. slowly. Gently. You can do it right up here, and you okay. should be able to see it. Well, I can see stuff even already. Slower, even slower. Even, even slower. slower. Mm -hmm. That's why with kids, you tell them, because it's really important to go kind of slow. Oh, I can see it all coagulating mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. yep. On this one, if you really, if we were to zone in on it, wow. you can see it already. You can see in here, it's starting to turn around. That All that floaty stuff, that is DNA, and actually, through the wonders of television, I had a setup down here, and it may have broken up, but, ah, uh, there you go. Wow. And that's what it looks like. If you've got something that looks like snot, you've got it. <laughs> <laughs> looks that's like snot. That's what I always tell. That's that right. one looks good. Those there. are strands. Let's see how yours came out. Usually you can just, oh, you may have beat yours up a little bit more. And okay. And let's talk, you know, we didn't say what DNA is, oh. but DNA is the molecule in your chromosome that actually carries your, your heredity. It has okay. your uh, genetic 
genetic makeup. We talked about genes, but your genes but and the can, chromosomes are made of the DNA. That up. You can yeah. see it there. Yeah, you can see so, it all in there. The banana comes out really pretty well. The slower you turn, the more it stays together. And mm -hmm. you think we're very individual, we're very unique as humans, yeah. but 60% of the DNA, DNA in this banana is the same DNA that's in us. Wow. And chimpanzees were... a lot of were, conservation, about 98%. 98%. Wow. Yeah. So it's so cool. a lot of the same. Yeah. But right. it's really, it's a great demo that kids can try at home. And you can pull DNA from a lot of different things. Bananas are easy, strawberries are cool. cool. All right, well, thanks, Tim. Now, we want to thank Tim for being here tonight. But to thanks. learn more about the Rochester Museum Science Center, head to our website, homeworkhotline.org. But stay there right now, and we'll be back in just a second. Cool. Okay.